In this lesson, we will be adding some movements to the rocks and adding controls to the spaceship. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our asteroids are spaced out correctly. So we're going to click and drag on them and move them to the top. And we're going to make sure we leave the right amount of space in between them so that our spaceship can pass through. Next, we're going to click on the spaceship and then click on scripts. And in the events tab, we're going to grab a when flag clicked and put it into our scene. We are now going to add the control to the spaceship. So we're going to head over to control and grab a forever and put it underneath the when flag clicked. Next, we're going to head over to motion and get a go to mouse pointer. This way, whenever we click the green flag, the spaceship will always go to where our mouse is. And this way we can control him. Now the next thing we're going to do is add some movement to our asteroids. To do that, we're going to click on the first one, head over to events, and grab a when flag clicked. Next, we're going to head over to motion and grab a go to and place it underneath the when flag clicked. Now the coordinates, these two numbers inside the go to will automatically be set to the position of this asteroid. And it will be different for the next two. Next, we're going to get a forever and place it underneath the go to and go back to motion and grab a glide one second. Now we're going to set our asteroid to glide from the top of the screen to the bottom. To do this, all we need to do is change this figure, the second figure. So you can see as you move your mouse down, only the Y figure in the coordinates are changing, but the X stays the same. So all we need to do is add a minus sign on your keyboard in front of 142. And that should make the asteroid go all the way to the bottom. Perfect. Now we're going to make it go back up. So we're going to grab a glide one second again, place it underneath the first one, and where we've added the negative number in 142, we're just going to remove it. And if we play this now, we can see that our asteroid moves seamlessly from the top to the bottom. Now let's do the same thing for the rest. So we're going to go to number 2, go to events, when flag clicked, motion, go to, and you can see that the coordinates for the second asteroid have automatically been set. Head back to control, grab a forever, back to motion, glide one second, we're going to change the coordinates on the y-axis to negative and we're going to grab another glide and put it underneath and we can test that perfect and we're just going to do the same thing one more time so events control and motion Glide. We're going to change the Y to a minus 142. And then we're just going to grab another glide and put it underneath without the minus. And now if we test it, they all work. But the problem is they all move at the same speed in the same position. Now that's not very challenging. So what we're going to do is go back to our first asteroid 
and we're going to change the figure next to glide. So instead of one, let's make it two. And make sure you do that for the second one as well. In the middle one, we'll say 1.5. And we'll do the same thing here, 1.5. And in the third one, we'll just leave it at 1. So we've got 2, 1.5, and 1. Let's see how this looks. All right. So now we have our asteroids moving up and down, all in random positions. Thank you for watching this lesson. If you're interested in doing more awesome courses like this one, check out our website. Link is in the description below.